In the wake of Sri Lanka's devastating Easter Sunday bombings, the government's expelled around 600 foreign nationals, including 200 Muslim clerics, found to have overstayed their visas. The country's Home Affairs Minister says it comes as part of a broader push to tighten immigration controls. Considering the current situation in the country, we have reviewed the visa system and taken a decision to tighten visa restrictions for religious teachers. Of those who were sent out, about 200 were Islamic preachers. There are religious institutions which have been getting in foreign preachers for decades. We have no issues with them, but there are some which mushroomed recently. We will pay more attention to them. Easter Sunday's coordinated bomb attacks in Sri Lanka left over 250 dead. Eight explosions tore through packed churches and luxury hotels. A state of emergency was imposed shortly after, and security forces were given sweeping powers to arrest suspects. We heard a loud bang and we fainted. That's all I remember. I wish to express my heartfelt solidarity with the Christian community, affected while it was a prayer, and with all the victims of such cruel violence. On Sunday then, dozens of shops, vehicles and homes owned by members of the Muslim community were attacked in the western coastal city of Negombo. At least three were injured over that. Several arrests were subsequently made too. Security has generally been bolstered and a curfew in post to try and calm things down a bit. The Sri Lankan government's renewing calls for unity meantime and has offered compensation to people affected by the latest violence. The social commentator Mo Ansa and politics expert Roger Kiska gave us their thoughts on this volatile situation in the country right now. The claims were that 12 days before the, the attacks, the government was sent detailed warnings. The intelligence services were sent detailed warnings. They were told they were going to be attacking uh, churches that are uh, a, a radical group in Sri Lanka, homegrown natives uh, who were going to terrorize and, and attack people on Easter morning. Shri Sena really didn't have much choice other than to expel 600, 600 foreigners and 200 Islamic clerics to cover his own shortcomings. I think when you have a state of emergency that is a direct result of, you know, coordinated terrorist attacks, enforcing the law for those who've overstayed their visas is a minimum you can do, because that's the bottom line here. We need to stop terror. We need to stop radicalization. If there are homegrown terrorists there, expelling foreigners doesn't help. Um, suddenly clamping down on foreigners and Muslims and asking women to remove the, the niqab, the face veil, is actually a disproportionate action and is specifically targeting Muslims and not the kind of Muslims that did the attack. Calling this a knee-jerk knee -jerk reaction, I think, is minimizing a very coordinated attack done by radical Muslims. Now, had this done, been done by uh, a, a Christian, for example, I would be the first condemning them. So I think that moderate Muslims shouldn't have to fear um, what's happening. Uh, you know, if you are involved in stirring hatred, in um, planning terrorist attacks, in anything of that nature, then you should be concerned and you should be expelled. And again, if this is an issue of a government simply expelling people who have overstayed their visa, then I don't see this as a knee-jerk reaction. They're just executing their laws. Um, I'm sure out of those 600 people, not all of them were Muslim who were expelled. I think this is, this is a tactic that um, whenever anyone speaks up against rising Islam, that they're labeled as Islamophobic. And I do believe in religious freedom. I think religious freedom is That's good absurd. for everyone. Nobody's, it's nobody's, good for modern Muslims, it's good for Christians. speaking up as Islamophobic. Why haven't the Sri Lankans been behaving? Why do they allow these things to go ahead? These are big questions. And the answer to that is not remove the face veils, um, exclude 600 foreigners and 200 Islamic clerics. They were never the problem. This is about a proportionate response well, you're, you're to a very, very serious you're issue. Expelling 600 you're expelling 600 people who overstayed their visas in reaction to 350 dead, 500 injured. This isn't just about one or two homegrown Islamic terrorists. This is about a chain of individuals who orchestrated eight attacks within a very short what period of time, which killed many, many people. What have overstayed visas got to do with the Easter attacks? This is far more what sophisticated have, than you're suggesting. What have overstayed visas got to do with the Easter terror attacks when it was a Sri Lankan native, homegrown, who himself was radicalizing people? Well, if you have 200, if you have 200 
clerics overstaying their welcome, then being homegrown might mean that they were in one of those mosques with one of those 200 clerics. We don't know that.